New timeline on the $3.5 trillion stimulus package, which could contain a fourth stimulus check and possibly even permanent raises to benefits like Social Security, Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA, and RRB. Let's get into it and lay out this very important timeline that we certainly want to take note of. Welcome and thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video as I'm back each and every day in videos just like this one to help you out in any way that I can as well as deliver all of the latest updates with all of this new information that continues to come out each and every day. There's a lot of moving parts right now. Things are changing very rapidly. So make sure you're subscribed so you can catch all of my videos going forward and stay up to date with everything going on right now. There's a lot cooking in the kitchen and I'm going to let you know what is going on. So thank you so much for your support. I truly Really appreciate it. Feel free to share this video with your friends, family, and social media, or any others here on the channel. Ask them to come over, check out some videos, and of course, subscribe to the channel. All right, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. And please remember, I'm here to help out in any way that I can every single day. Leave your comments or questions down below, and I'll do my best to answer them either right there on the comments section or in some of my future videos. All right, let's get into it and talk about this timeline. So, as we all know, the reconciliation bill is still on the table right now. Now, this is the $3.5 trillion stimulus package that they've been working on for a number of weeks now. Now, it is still opened up. However, the timeline is getting really close here, and we are down to literally the final moments of this package before the official passing, as far as what they want to do with this package. So, let me lay out some key dates for you over the coming days and weeks here that are going to be very important to watch. First off, September 15th is the first date in which we want to watch. This is the date in which Chuck Schumer and other people throughout Congress have directed the committees, as in the House Budget Committee and the Senate Budget Committee, to get everything that they want together in this next package, package it all up, button it all up, and get it all together by September 15th. So this is going to be a very key date because this is going to be what is likely going to be in the package. Now again, this is most likely just a top line number, as in they want the committees to put together all of everything, the provisions, the packages, the price tags, everything within this package, button it all up and kind of get a top line number as far as what is it actually going to cost? Now we know that the entire package is going to be about $3.5 trillion. Depends on who you ask. If you ask Bernie Sanders, he wants it to be more like $6 trillion. So much higher than 3.5. So we'll see this thing actually could come in much higher than 3.5. In fact, Bernie Sanders was out just the other day basically saying he is not going any lower, not a penny lower than $3.5 trillion. So it could probably go up from here as well based on a lot of the provisions that they are introducing. So that is one of the first key dates we wanna watch right there. September 15th, it is coming very rapidly rapidly. We've got to keep an eye on that as I anticipate there'll probably be some key announcements probably on that date. But again, remember, we are always seeing delays with everything going on with this. So if we're delayed a few days or a week even, I wouldn't be surprised one bit at all. All right, next date on the calendar will be September 27th. Now, this is going to be a very key date because Nancy Pelosi, when she was in the negotiation process with the moderate Democrats, basically in order to get their votes on the budget resolution, which opened up the privileges for negotiations on the budget reconciliation bill, she convinced uh, moderate Democrats and she basically, basically negotiated with them and said, uh, as far as the infrastructure package, this is the one that is focused on infrastructure alone, the $1.2 trillion package, because they wanted to bring it to the floor immediately and vote on it. Well, Nancy Pelosi said, it's not happening. We're going to vote on the budget resolution first, and we're going to focus our attention on the budget reconciliation after the budget resolution is passed before we focus on the infrastructure bill. So in order to get that done, Nancy Pelosi negotiated with the moderate Democrats and basically said, we will hold a vote on or before September 27th on the infrastructure package. So we may just see both of these packages being voted on maybe on or before September 27th, because Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer have said they want to run these two packages through simultaneously on two separate tracks that they are running right now, and they want to pass these things through simultaneously. In other words, at the exact same time. So if they're going to be voting on the infrastructure package on the 27th of this month, 
that means that we may just be getting the reconciliation bill, a vote literally on the same time, uh, or maybe even prior to that. So we want to keep a very close eye on the few days leading up to the September 27th date, and of course, the date of September 27th. We may just be getting some major voting going down that day on a couple packages. We'll have to see on that one, but that's a very key date that we want to continue watching right there as well. Next date that we want to watch, October 1st. October 1st is essentially the line in the sand. Nancy Pelosi has made it very clear. She wants to have these packages passed, fully passed, by October 1st. Again, Please don't hold your breath on this. We've seen so many delays with all these packages going on over the last year and a half from uh, by now. So if we see another delay, I wouldn't be surprised one bit to see this thing delayed and pushed out a week, two weeks, a month, who knows how long, seriously. Remember back, just one quick side note. Remember back on these reconciliation and the infrastructure bill, they wanted to have these things passed or as far as um, whatever, they wanted, to, they wanted to have them passed by Memorial Day. Well, we actually didn't get these things opened up until like mid-August. So <laughs> you can see there, we were delayed by a number of months right there. So yeah, Memorial Day to mid-August is a very long time. So as you can see there, we were delayed by about two and a half months or so, give or take. Yeah, a long time. So again, if we're delayed once again, I wouldn't be surprised one bit considering September is historically a very, very busy month for people in Congress. So now one more thing, I wanna throw this out there. As of right now, of course, we all do know that a fourth stimulus check has not officially been added into this reconciliation bill. However, I know a lot of you have been asking, I've seen it down in the comments section, asking me, if there is a fourth stimulus check added into the reconciliation bill, when could we expect to see it? Well, a lot of that is up in the air. Assuming that everything is passed by, you know, October 1st, let's just say October 1st, Assuming that a fourth stimulus check actually makes it into the package and assuming that it actually passes by October 1st, we would have to anticipate if it passes the House, passes the Senate, and makes its way to the president's desk and he slaps a signature on it, well, then we could be looking at distribution of checks. You know, again, I'm not promising anything. I'm just simply saying if they are in the package, we could be looking at distribution of checks sometime in mid-October right? But again, there is a lot in the up, up in the air right now. We would need to get those checks officially added into the package. We would need to get the packages passed through the House, through the Senate, and a signature by the president. So as you can see, we have some massive hurdles here ahead of us, but step one, we need the check to be added first. That is step one before anything else can happen. It needs to be added into the package, right? But either way, this is some major timeline uh, that we have going on right here. So yes, some very key dates, September 15th, September 27th, October 1st, and then again, if checks are added and they just so happen to be passed by October 1st, we could be looking at sometime in mid-October. Again, we have a lot going on here over the coming days and weeks. Make sure you're subscribed by hitting the button right down below the video, and I'll continue to be here for you as I watch everything very, very closely, and I will continue to keep you updated every single day with these short videos. I boil it all down, let you know what's going on, and just remember, I'm here to help out in any way that I can as I get it is a tough time right now. It's very confusing. Things are changing very rapidly right now. And of course, all of us need those additional stimulus checks very much right now, right? So again, if we get any further information on future uh, permanent raises for benefits like Social Security, SSDI, SSI, VA, anything like that, of course, I will let you know right away. There's a lot of talk about adding some kind of provisions into the package as far as raising benefits on a permanent basis. So a lot of talk about a lot of things right now. I mean, there's so many different topics floating around out there right now. Um, I'll be here for you every day to keep you updated. So again, subscribe down below, share this video with your friends, family, social media, ask them to come over, check out some videos, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And just remember, I'll be here for you every single day. Enjoy and have a nice day. I'll see you in the next video. See you later.